Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled by a flowing river, there lived a wise Zen master named Mei Li. Mei Li was known for her keen insights and ability to guide others on their path to enlightenment. People from all walks of life sought her wisdom, hoping to learn valuable lessons that would bring them peace and clarity. One day, a young disciple approached Master Mei Li, seeking guidance on the kind of people to avoid in life. The disciple had encountered individuals who drained their energy and caused turmoil in their hearts. Mei Li listened attentively, her eyes filled with compassion. Come, let us take a walk, Mei Li said, leading the disciple along the tranquil riverbank, where the sun cast a warm glow on the shimmering water. As they walked, Mei Li began to share her teachings on the kind of people to avoid. The first kind of person to avoid, Mei Li began, is the toxic negativist. This person is consumed by negativity, always finding fault in everything and everyone. They drain your energy, cloud your mind, and hinder your growth. Surrounding yourself with positivity and optimism is essential for your well-being. The second kind of person to avoid, Mei Li continued, is the self-centered egoist. This person is solely focused on their own needs, disregarding the feelings and well-being of others. Their selfish actions cause disharmony and prevent meaningful connections. Seek companions who value empathy and compassion, fostering a nurturing and supportive environment. Mei Li paused for a moment, observing the graceful dance of the river. The third kind of person to avoid, she said, is the manipulative deceiver. This person seeks to control and manipulate others for their personal gain. They sow seeds of doubt, undermine your self-worth, and lead you astray. Surround yourself with those who are honest, trustworthy, and uphold your highest good. The fourth kind of person to avoid, Mei Li continued, is the envious competitor. This person is driven by jealousy and comparison, always striving to outdo others at any cost. Their presence breeds a toxic environment of rivalry and negativity. Choose companions who celebrate your success and inspire you to grow together harmoniously. Mei Li smiled gently at the disciple, her serene presence offering solace and guidance. Lastly, the fifth kind of person to avoid, she said, is the gossiping meddler. This person thrives on spreading rumors, stirring up conflicts, and creating discord among people. Surround yourself with those who value integrity and discretion, nurturing a space of trust and harmony. The disciple absorbed Mei Li's teachings, feeling a sense of clarity and empowerment. The lessons taught them the importance of cultivating healthy relationships and being mindful of the energies they allow into their lives. From that day forward, the disciple practiced discernment, avoiding the toxic influences that hindered their growth and inner peace. They sought companions who embodied kindness, authenticity, and integrity, fostering a supportive and nurturing environment. And so the wisdom of Master Mei Li's teachings spread throughout the village, empowering others to recognize the kind of people to avoid in life. By avoiding the toxic negativist, self-centered egoist, manipulative deceiver, Envious competitor and gossiping meddler, individuals could create a harmonious and enriching environment that nurtured their personal and spiritual growth. The lessons highlight the importance of choosing companions who uplift and inspire us, fostering an atmosphere of positivity and authenticity. By avoiding those who drain our energy, manipulate us, foster competition, spread negativity, or betray our trust, we protect our own well-being and cultivate an environment that supports our growth and inner peace. By embodying these teachings, we learn to navigate our relationships with discernment and wisdom, surrounding ourselves with individuals who truly align with our values and nurture our spirits. This allows us to thrive cultivate peace within ourselves, and create a life filled with meaningful connections and harmony.